Okay, sorry to take two. My phone ran out of storage. Um, so anyway, we were getting really excited and seeing that, you know, girls were joining us and we were um, making sales and everything was just really happening um, pretty quick because, you know, we were then and we still are a ground floor opportunity and, you know, it's a huge um, opportunity to have when you have something so new that people are interested. It's always changing. The price is on point. So, um, it was really working for us. Um, and, and it still is. Um, so, um, you know, I think that first month I made like a $1,700 paycheck, um, which is insane. That's more than I was making at my full-time job in a month. So to me, that was a lot of money. That still is a lot of money. Um, and then the next month, I think it was like fifteen, nineteen hundred dollars something like that again. Um, and, you know, that's when I really started to get excited and, and think, you know, me and Julie were talking and we just kept telling each other like, you know, it's not going to go down. Is it going to keep going up? Um, like, it, this is crazy. Um, you know, to sign up for something for a discount and have this kind of response to it. And I thought somebody pulled my driveway. And um, so then, you know, we started hitting these ranks, um, one star peep. And the month that Julie hit it, she went from one star, I think, or from stellar to one star to two star, I think. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But, you know, we're like, are they going to give you every one of those bonuses? They're not going to pay you all those. And then your commission. Um, but sure enough, the money was there. Um, so then, um, I knew it was real by then because Julie got her money. So I'm like, okay, when I hit one star, I'm definitely going to have my $1,000. Um, I think the craziest month for me was, um, in November when I hit four star, I made my $10,000 bonus and my commission was $14,000. So that month, I brought home $24,000 um, in commissions and bonuses, um, which is, that's crazy. Um, that's more than I made all year last year, and I made that in a month. Um, and at this point, my commissions are steadily growing. Um, since then, I've, I've not went down in commission any month. Um, so as long as you're consistent and you keep planting seeds and you keep reaching out, um, you know, there's nowhere to go but up. As long as you work your business, um, you're going to get there. The opportunity is still huge. Um, you know, you just, like Hillary taught us before, the more you feed your business, the more your business will feed you. And that's so true. Um, like if somebody asked me if I had a trick to how I got to where I am, no, there's no trick. It's hard work. If you want to make this work, you have to set the time aside to work your business. Um, because you can't just post to Facebook and expect people to come running to you. Um, it doesn't work like that. You have to step outside your box and message your friends um, about hosting parties, about the opportunity, about signing up. Um, you know, people are lazy. If they have to come to you for something, they're not going to do it. Um, you know, but if you can engage with them and get on a personal level and think about how this business can help their life, how it can help them, not just how it can help you, because you don't want to put somebody in a bind that doesn't have $99 and you know doesn't have $99, you know, think of a way, how can you help them to, you know, let them host a party or something and then put the orders under them. But you, you need, when you're sponsoring, you need to make it about them. Is this going to be beneficial to them? Are they going to have time to set aside um, to work their business? Because if they're not going to, you know, work their business, they're just another number. And it's not going to benefit you. So you have to remember not to, like, pressure people or, or you know, try every way you can to talk them into signing with you. You know, 
you have to make sure they are ready to do this too. Um, but then again, you never need to rule anybody out because the person you think is just getting a kit may be your next one or two star peep. Um, so anyway, the thing I wanted to get across to you girls was, you know, don't bust your butt selling or or a, with a goal of selling six thousand dollars every month you know you need to set your time aside for selling but you need to make make your main focus on growing your team because that's where the money's at um if i didn't have my team last month i would have made eight eighty dollars eighty seven dollars or something like that but with my team i brought home twelve thousand dollars so that's a big difference and that's why i'm here to tell you the money is in team building and growing your team and hitting those leadership ranks and you can do it it's we're still so new that all of you girls there's no reason if you don't if you put the time into your business and work your business and message girls and you know just put the work into it there's no reason that each of you girls can't be in a peep leadership level um, we still have just around 4,000 consultants, so it's still an amazing opportunity. Um, you know, we are growing fast, um, but that's why you need to work your business because if they don't sign up with you and you're not working with them, they're going to sign up with somebody else. Um, so, starting to go back and forth here again, so I apologize. But <clears throat> I hope you girls have fun tonight and... Um, if you have any questions or anything, just message me. We're always here to help you. Um, I always try to get back with everybody as soon as I can. Sometimes I forget because I'm just like that. I always forget. Um, but you can message me anytime. You have a great leader. Brittany and Jeannie, they're great leaders and they're always there to help you. Um, Carrie and Allie, y'all y'all are all a great, amazing, fun group of girls. And I always see you work in your business and I'm really proud of you for being consistent and um, you know ask them what's worked for them it's being consistent and working their business um, so anyway love you girls have a good night bye